Hi, my name is Boris, and I am the teacher for Kaplan's AP Live Review Sessions for US and World History. Now in this video, I'd like to talk about the World History exam and the changes you can expect as a test taker in 2020. So previously, you were probably expecting a test that had a mixture of multiple choice questions and the document-based questions popularly called DBQs. In 2020, the entire test will be just one DBQ. Now the test makers are calling it a modified DBQ because it isn't exactly the same as the original DBQs, but it is very, very similar. There will be five historical sources. One of them will be a non-text-based source. You'll be given some kind of a prompt, and according to the instructions on the test maker's website, you'll have to use evidence to corroborate qualify or modify an argument that addresses the specific prompt that you have been given. There is one very important thing you do have to know, which is that for the 2020 exam, only units one through six are eligible to appear on the DBQ. This means that units seven through nine will not be included on the test, and so you don't need to include them in your studies. Now here's a quick word about how to use this playlist. Previously, we had a series of live sessions taught by our awesome Kaplan AP teacher, Laura, that covered AP world history. Please note, as you review these videos, that the changes in 2020 were not announced until around session three of our previous sessions, which means that if you do watch, sessions one and two may have some things that are not accurate with the actual upcoming exam. For more practice with AP World History, check out our upcoming live AP review sessions. They're coming up on April 20th, and for the exact schedule and times, check out the link in the description below.